Berlin is one of the coolest cities in the world, which I suppose explains why we've never been here before, Matt. Yeah, well, better late than never, so because yeah. we're here to pit ourselves against the GCN Super Commuter Challenge. Two cyclists, two cutting edge urban bikes, no Lycra and no idea where we are. No, I mean, the victory column is a bit of a clue, yeah. but we don't know the city, so we actually have no idea. Well, that is the point though, Si, because there's so much cool tech out there for cyclists. We wanted to find out how much it could help the urban cyclist. Now, if you are slightly skeptical about whether we do or do not know where we are, you will just have to trust us. We do not know Berlin at all. We actually had our phones confiscated at breakfast, which was quite annoying, it meant that we couldn't cheat. And then we were brought here to the victory column, wherever this actually is in Berlin. But nevertheless, we are ready and raring to go. We certainly are. Well, the challenge is a very simple one. We've got to navigate our way across the city of Berlin, head to head, and eventually rendezvous at the headquarters of Schindelhauer Bikes, where sadly, we're gonna to have to give these two beauties back. Yeah. yeah. Now, on hand, we found some of those interesting bits of commuting tech, with a hope that it's gonna help us survive and navigate these mean city streets. Mean? These, this, this is actually really quite nice. It is really quite nice. Okay, right, now, despite going our separate ways, Matt and I are going to be using our first bit of tech to communicate. So this is the Senna X1 helmet. It's brand new and it has built-in Bluetooth connectivity, built-in speakers and a built-in microphone. So we're going to be able to communicate using Bluetooth up to a range of 900 metres. Then further than that, we can use the Senna app on our phones. Golf Charlie number one to Golf Charlie number two. Are you receiving Golf Charlie number one to Golf Charlie number two? Are you receiving me? Yeah, yeah, I am, right. loud and clear. Well, that's, that's that bit sorted then, Si. Well, which direction are you going to go? Uh, that way. I'll go that way. That way? You sure? Yeah. Right, now Matt is out of earshot, I'm going to let you in on my cunning plan. So, I don't know how much he's read up about these helmets and what they can do, but I've worked out that as soon as it's synced to my phone, all I've got to do is fire up Google Maps, stick in the Schindelhauer address, then put my phone back in my pocket and just listen to my direction instructions straight through my lid. What could possibly go wrong? Just switch the technology on, then let it do its thing and enjoy my ride. Genius. Now, where am I going? Hello, is that, uh, that Roland? Hi Roland, it's, uh, it's Matt. Matt Stevens? Matt from GCN? Global Cycle Network? Yeah, <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm near the, uh, the Golden Column, or the Victory Column, I believe it's known. If you could meet me in about, yeah, about five minutes, that'd be great. Cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cheers, cool. That was uh, Roland from uh, one of my mates from the uh, Berlin fixie scene. Hey Roland, hey, how you doing, man? Hey Matt, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Should we do this? It's good. Time is running, gotta beat Sai. Yeah, that's a good point. Right then, time waits for no man. In second time, let's go. As well as the Senna Smart Helmets then, we've also got hold of these cyclic lights because dash cams are becoming increasingly popular. And that's because you basically just record any old ride just in case something really unfortunate happens. And these ones have been designed specifically to meet our requirements, us being bike riders. So you could use it like a normal HD action camera or you could use it like a normal light. But the genius lies in the fact they have an automatic continuous recording function. So two hours of footage is stored on the memory card, but unless you tell it otherwise, it will automatically write over anything 
older than that. However, if the internal accelerometer detects that you've had a crash, it will then automatically save the preceding footage, potentially leaving you with some valuable evidence. Okay, Roland, let's keep things above board and nice and legal because I am recording everything we're doing as well. But despite my reputation, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever ridden a fixie. So if you get, can you give me just two crucial kind of tips that I need to keep an eye on? Well, just keep your eye on the road. It's even more important than riding a road bike, just seeing what everybody's gonna do, trying to see the mistakes people are gonna, gonna make. Okay. And otherwise, yeah, just keep your legs moving. Don't stop pedaling. Don't stop pedaling, okay. And yeah, that's about it. Well, that's cool. So where are you gonna take us? What route are we gonna take through Berlin to Schindelhauer? Okay, so we're gonna go take like a southern route through Kreuzberg, then we're gonna pop by the the Tempelhofer Feld, the airport that's been closed down, but is open to the public. Okay. And then we're just gonna go cut through Neukölln and go back to Kreuzberg to the Schindelauer headquarters. Sounds great. Okay. Let's do it. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry, it's Matt, Matt from GCN. How you doing, mate? I just wondered how you're getting on. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, how about you? Dare I ask, how are you finding riding a fixie? Well, I, I absolutely love it. Loving it. It just kind of fits in with... Well, that like kind of urban image, really, mate. Oh, yeah, lo loving it. I'm just fitting in really well. Sure it does, mate. Sure it does. Now, tell me, I want to know, how are you navigating around the city? Oh, uh, I'm navigating around the city. Yeah, Google Maps, mate. Good Google Maps. Google Maps? Matt, is that, is that in the background? Nobody. I'm, have I'm you on... got company, Matt? No, no, I'm on my own, mate. I'm on my own. Anyway, mate, you... I'll, I'll catch you a little bit. I've, I've got to go. I need to stop pressing on a little bit. I'll see you in a little while. All right, mate. Good luck. Pedal hard. Cheers, bud. That was close. So we've got our smart helmets. We've got our smart lights. But not all super commuter tech needs to be electronic. Not by a long shot. Take these bikes, for example. So Schindelhauer are based, as you may have guessed, right here in Berlin. And it's got to be said, I love the aesthetic of the whole range. Very clean, very simple. But then that belies a whole load of very cool tech. So take the fact that instead of using chains, the whole range uses Gates carbon belt drives. So they are not metal. They are a polyurethane outer with non-stretch carbon fiber cords inside. What that means is they don't ever need lubricating, they don't ever need greasing, and in fact, they don't really even need cleaning. I don't know what I'd do in my time if I didn't have chains to clean. And while I imagine Matt is trying to get to grips with his fixie, I asked for the top of the range bike, the Wilhelm, because it's got a pinion gearbox. Now these have been designed by two former Porsche engineers who wanted to replicate the efficiency and the maintenance-free, almost, car transmission systems, but for bikes. And so this one here, the C-Series, has got 12 internal gears, all evenly spaced, but with a huge 600% range. That's quite significantly more than your road bike. Completely sealed from the elements, and in fact, it's in an oil bath. So the only maintenance you ever need to do is to replace the oil every 10,000 kilometers. It's all made right here in Germany to automotive standards and so sure opinion of the reliability of their products that they actually offer a standard five-year warranty. Imagine getting that on your next derailleur. Did a skid! <laughs> hey, did a skid. Yeah. Now, while Simon is getting to grips with all that tech, it might actually seem strange that I'm on a fixed gear bike, but simplicity is the logical choice if you're riding in the right sort of city. And I tell you what, riding around the city streets with the likes of Roland, who makes it look so, so easy, has really changed my mind. Now, Roland is a part of the Schindelhauer Gate cycling team, who frankly rides some pretty terrifying crits on a fixed wheel. So how long, Roland, have you been riding on a fixed wheel? Well, I think we started maybe about eight years ago, but then slowly got into the whole racing spirit. At the beginning, it was just 
out riding in the city with the boys. Yep. And then slowly it's become more and more competitive and racing teams have started or racing gangs in a way that compete against each other. And now it's very competitive. Fantastic. So how far from Schindelhauer are we now? Mm, I guess probably got five, six, seven Ks, something like that. Okay, should we give a bit of a nudge? Yeah. Let's go. Go. We made it. Cheers, man. Good stuff. Hello, mate. Hello. Yeah, all right. Have you stopped for a beer and a tattoo yet? Uh, sort of. Yeah, sort of. You're sort of? Where are you? I'm, I'm already at, I'm at Schindelhauer, mate. They're, they're really looking after me. It's really nice. You're a what? You're a Schindelhauer? Yeah. Look, just get your head down. Pedal as fast as you can and I'll get you a beer. All right, mate. Thanks. See you in a bit, mate. Bye. Beat side again. Crazy. Just skills, really. You can't teach it. Yeah, there he is. That's three challenges on the trot you've won. The first one, you were on an electric bike, so I figured, well, fair enough, I've lost. The second one, you were on a road bike and I was on a mountain bike, so I figured, well, fair enough, you've lost. But this one, I honestly thought that you might struggle with a fixie, and I had this one in the bag. I, I can't believe it. I think the bottom line is, Si, uh, to cut to the chase, I think it's just you're up against a superior, if somewhat older, talent. But that aside, talent aside, I must admit, I had an absolute blast yeah. riding around Berlin on that fixie today. It's the first time for me. And yeah, it was, first it was quite serene because I'd slick tyres on and also the belt drive was utterly silent. But uh, it definitely is the way to go, if you ask me. Really? Yeah, I loved it. A fixie convert? Yeah, definitely. And I did some super skids as well. Did a skid! Yeah, well, I too had a really rather serene ride through the city. I had all the tech, obviously, and I just let it do its thing. And I just sat back and relaxed. It was great. And also, it was the first time I've ever used helmets as a means of communication. But I did enjoy having a little chat every now and then. It's all right, wasn't it? Keep and on. I listened to the Dirt Shed show as well. Oh my God, <laughs> let's do it. It's the Dirt Shed, Shed show! show! Right, well, do make sure you subscribe to GCN before leaving this video. To do so, just click on the globe. Now, for our tourist challenge around the city of London, how about clicking just down here? Yeah, or oh, for another bit of urban bike riding, we became delivery riders for the day trying to put a cyclocross bike, an urban bike, and a road bike through their paces. So make sure you check that one out just down there. That was fun. And don't forget to like and share. Yeah.